This briefing by the Finance and Economic Affairs Minister, CDMK Keta, is intended to inform the President about the activities of the Ministry in the 2023 budget during the last six months of the fiscal year, as well as donor coordination, project execution and various other pressing issues affecting the economy. The Finance Minister shared the following details with journalists regarding his meeting with the President. The meeting is to brief His Excellency the President on the activities of the ministry in the last six months of the year and to update him on the current affairs on each of the key vital sectors, particularly as we have mentioned the macroeconomic aspect which touch on the performance of the revenue, the inflation, the macroeconomic factors, the uh, rising cost of uh, food and inflation and other aspects. He disclosed that the overall asset value of state-owned enterprises stands at $34 billion, indicating a fragile performance. Additionally, he outlined several major issues discussed during the meeting, one of which was how to revitalize and strengthen the financial and institutional performance of state-owned enterprises. As we stand now, the total asset of the state-owned enterprises are about $34 billion, and most of them are struggling financially. Uh, the financial performance of the state-owned enterprises are very weak and this was identified and the causes the president was briefed as to the performance of each state-owned enterprises factors leading to their performance why their performance are the way they are and what measures should be taken this revelation by the finance minister highlights a relatively weak performance of the soes subsequently the minister described this performance as weak and stressed the need for urgent action to ensure sustainability. He expressed unwavering optimism that the establishment of a commission to oversee state-owned enterprises, if fully operational, will play a significant role in addressing the pressing issues within the government institutions. For TFA News, Dauda Balde.